All right, so due to this whole coronavirus thing, a lot of people are out of a gym. I unfortunately am out of a gym. I didn't think Hard Knocks would close because it's such like a small, old school style gym, but the health department didn't care. They shut everything down. So anyway, at this point, about 96% of my muscle mass is wasted away. My testosterone is converting into estrogen. It's not a good look. It's not a good sight at all. So Gabe, my best friend, we're currently at his house because he had slash has a home gym, which he doesn't ever use. I'm gonna be picking up those weights and a barbell and we're gonna see what we can do with just weights and a barbell. Here it is, 270 pounds of weight and a barbell. done. I'm going home. It's so cold. We brought in all the stuff from the all the weights and stuff, the barbell, and we cleared off a little spot in the basement. So now I'm trying to jerry-rig like I literally do not have any kind of equipment that can actually support the bar. So I'm trying to jerry-rig basically just something that can support the bar and uh, I'm basically just using tables. So... I'm wearing this gas mask, respirator, or whatever it's called, because I'm pretty sure there's asbestos in my basement. But anyway, we got platform number one with this little lip so that the barbell doesn't roll. I need to figure out a way to clamp this to the table. Then over here, I've got this thing clamped to the table pretty tight so that the barbell doesn't roll off when I rack it. Then I have these things that are kind of just elevating the table a bit because I don't really have a a better way to elevate it. As you can see, the level of the table is pretty low compared to me. So even with the bar, with the weights under it, I'm still probably gonna have to unrack it decently high, um, but it's better than not having a gym at all. So, yeah. Well, dad saw my setup and he he's gonna make it well, much I, more um, I can't say quality. That, I can't say that's gonna be much more quality. It'll look right. better. We'll see what I'm thinking about doing. See, that's four feet. And here's four feet. Mm -hmm. So So we're going to make our own wooden squat rack. Yeah, that's what I think. We're so doing. we're going to have a beam going from here down to the floor, and then from here so down to the floor. So inches. So if we put a thing down here, and a thing down here, and 51 inches. So from here... So across four beams? To here is 50 inches. That's perfect. Perfect. All right, so we just went to Lowe's and got all this stuff. And now, geez, I need an ND filter on this thing. I've got like one over 1,000 shutter speed right now. Hello. Wow, but that aperture makes my dad look so handsome. <laughs> Okay, here's the beginning of day two. We have one pole up, and we have another half a pole. And there's my mom. So there's Papa English, Father English coming downstairs. We officially have the squat rack part done. So as you can see, flip this up here. We have this bolt coming through. The bolt is about 
the same width as my hand. So it's coming pretty far into the wood. Then we have one, two, three, four, five uh, screws around it, really securing it in here. And we've got Gorilla Glue here. Let me turn the metering up a bit. We have Gorilla Glue up here too, making sure that bolt stays sturdy in there. Then I have some cement screws going through these pieces of wood down into the cement, holding this in place so it's not gonna, it's not gonna move sideways. Then obviously it's screwed up in here, screwed up in there, really tight into the rafters. So this is not going anywhere in my estimations. And if it does, then I'm probably dead. So, here's the bench, all Let's complete. Ride, I haven't really been recording it because we've just been working, but the bench and the squat rack are complete now. Cheers out. Nice! Oh, it's nice, it is nice. It's, it's not, it doesn't move. It's solid. Nice! Do you want to mark that yet? Bang! Nice. That's it. Squat rack, bench press. I can do seated overhead press with the bench, or I could just do seated overhead press with literally one of the seats. I can do a bunch of dumbbell stuff, barbell stuff. That's it. Home quarantine ain't nothing now. All right, so it's all finished, and this is going to be the first test run of the new power rack. We'll see if. These bolts will hold. I'll probably go up to either 225 for front squats, because I never do front squats, or like max weight for volume on back squats, because I found some old bumpers that I don't really know why I have. And uh, so in total, we have 345 pounds with the bar. Um, so we'll see what we can do with that. front squats with 185 and it absolutely killed me and uh, it like hurt my where I was resting. As you saw me, I used the pussy pad, which is something I'm quite ashamed of, but it really hurt honestly. So anyway, I'm gonna do RDLs now because I can't deadlift because it's like 1 a.m. because I'm stupid and we have next door neighbors, so I don't want to keep them awake. I don't want to keep my parents awake. So, and then I'm gonna do bench, probably seated OHP and then pull-ups, because I'm basically just doing full body today. So I think this week, since it's been so long since I've trained, I'm gonna do full body, rest, full body, rest, full body. And then next week, I'm gonna get onto the push, or legs push-pull that I was on before.